Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday uh, act of worship as we gather in our different houses, but by the Spirit gather uh, together to give thanks for the days that are passing and to pray uh, for the concerns of the, of the world, uh, our own concerns, for those things that are on our hearts. As we rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. We begin by lighting our candles uh, with a short act of liturgy as we light each candle. But we light the, ca the Paschal candle first of all to remember that the resurrected Christ is always with us. And we will light a light in the name of the Maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life into us. We will light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hand in love to us. We will light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with yearning. We will light three lights for the trinity of love. God above us, God beside us, God beneath us. The beginning, the end, the everlasting one. Gather us in, the lost and the lonely, the broken and breaking, the tired and aching the young and the old, the stranger and the friend. Forgive us and heal us. Strengthen and renew us, for we are one family with Christ Jesus as our head. We bless the Lord for this new day as we listen or join in with the song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Ten thousand reasons have we for praising God. Oh. Try that again. Here we go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh 
strength is failing The end draws near And my time has come Still my soul will sing your praise Unending Ten thousand years and then forever more Forevermore Bless the Lord, oh my soul Oh my soul Worship His soul Now we hear our reading uh, for today as we continue our reading through Mark. A reading from Mark chapter 8. They came to Bethsaida and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home, saying, don't even go into the village. Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, who do people say I am? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter answered, you are the Messiah. Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, as we have heard from your words and sung your praise this morning, we pray indeed that you would guide us by your Spirit and encourage us with a thought and a message for today. Amen. If you've been joining us over the last few weeks, you'll be aware that I've been kind of picking out some key passages or uh, highlights from Mark's Gospel. We began Mark's Gospel as Mark's Gospel does, the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus Christ. We looked at Jesus brings this message of, of good news, a message calling people to repent, to, to turn their direction, to think again, to, to change how 
they're living, how they're going, and to know that God is near them, that the kingdom of God is near. And then we looked at a, a few passages talking about Jesus being the one who who was a, a healer, a, a teacher, the one who fed the thousands, the one who walked on water, the one who stills a storm. And throughout, we're asking, who is this man, Jesus? Our passage today begins with a, a story of, of meeting a blind man. And Jesus blesses him, and, and as he prays for him, he his eyes begin to be open, but not fully open. He he says, "I, I can I can see. I think it's people when that they're they're all you know they're just he's getting that glimpse." Uh, and then Jesus continues to pray with him and to to meet with him, and then he opens his eyes and he sees clearly. When Jesus declares that. Who am I? Who do people say I am and ask the disciples? The disciples have been probably travelling with Jesus for, for for two years or more. We're coming towards the, the final uh, days, months of Jesus' life. The, the, the gospel begins to turn towards Jerusalem and towards the, the end of Jesus' life. But over that time, the disciples have witnessed many things. And like us, they, they still grapple and grasp, what does, who is this man? What does it mean for us to be a follower of him? Peter has a, an eye-opening moment. You're the Messiah. He, Peter seems to see clearly uh, that Jesus is more than just a man. He bestows upon him the title, the Messiah, the Christ, the anointed one, the promised one who would come. So Jesus Christ, Christ is a, a title, meaning the anointed one, the Messiah. I think for all of us, we are like that blind man. We only see dimly, as Paul talks about in First Corinthians 13, that beautiful passage of love. He says, for now we, we glimpse, we just have snippets of the truth. But then we will see clearly face to face. So as we journey at this time together, let us continue to stay in contact with Jesus and ask him to make his presence more and more clear in our lives. That we would see him at work within us and through us and in the wider world. It's hard to see what God's up to sometimes. We have many questions, but let us hold on in faith until that day that we see him face to face. I rejoice this week that my sister Alice now meets her Lord face to face. We mourn at her passing, yet it's been interesting before uh, just after Morris, her husband, died, she went and organised a funeral plan and she chose two wonderful hymns, the hymn Love Divine, or Love's Excelling, with that beautiful verse within it, change from glory into glory, that God at work in us. And her other song was There is a Green Hill Far Away, reminding her and reminding us of God's love and sacrifice at Calvary for us. 
So we pray that God would continue to open our eyes to know that he is present with us in the midst of this storm and leads us onward. Let us sing and reflect upon that phrase, to open the eyes of our heart, Lord. Open the eyes of our heart so that we can see you more. This might be a new song to some movie, but join in if you don't. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Of my heart, I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see. for the world and its people. We pray asking that Christ would be revealed. That through us as his body here on earth, scattered throughout the world, 
doing deeds of kindness and goodness in his name. That people would glimpse that Christ is here. Lord, we pray for the world. A world that you tell us you love so much that you sent Christ into it to become our lamb, our Passover, feast, our redeemer. Lord, we pray for world leaders. Lord, that they would make good decisions for their people and have a heart to work together with other nations to seek the best for humanity. Forgive us for when we place barriers because someone comes from a different town, a different country, a different nation, a different part of this one world that we live in. We pray that world leaders indeed would learn to work together for the good of all humanity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we continue to pray for all who are caught up in this pandemic around the world. Especially praying, Lord, at this time for the scientists and those working to find a cure or a, a treatment. Lord, well, we pray that you would continue to guide and give wisdom to them. Lord, well, we pray with thanksgiving that as far as we know, the pandemic hasn't been as serious as was once feared. Although we acknowledge there are some countries where the health system is not in place. And we pray for them, we pray for the aid agencies that help, that you would support and bring them the supplies that they need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for our own nation as discussions take place about easing off the lockdown and what to do next. Lord, help people in their fr frustration. Help people in to be patient, to take time, and not to rush back to a normality that can never be, but to sensibly act for the future. We pray too, Lord, for churches as we grapple with the possibilities of our doors being opened again. Lord, help us to make good and wise decisions. Yeah, Lord, we thank you for the technology we have. We thank you for the opportunity to meet over the internet and to email and Facebook one another. We thank you too for for the telephone, and for the ability to write and to send letters and cards and greetings. Continue to work through us, Lord, to encourage those around us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray now for all those who are on our hearts and minds. For those who have been mentioned in our prayer groups. We give thanks for Ali Wilson's recovery. And Lord, we pray for f a full healing of her. We thank you for her love and the work that she does with our, our young people in the area. Uh, and for the prayer group that she, she runs, Uniting Bonnie Rig in Prayer.
to continue to pray for for Bill and for Anne Cunningham. Oh, we pray for Bill that you would heal him, that you would restore him. And we pray for Anne that you would comfort and calm her. We continue to pray for all who mourn, for the families of Roger, for David, for Iris, for Alice, and others known to us. Lord, although we hurt and grieve with their departing. May we trust that they are at rest in pastures new, for you are the Lord our good shepherd, who leads us home into pastures new. So help us, Lord, in this difficult time, in this time of frustration, this time of unsettledness, Help us to glimpse you and to follow your ways until we too see you face to face. We pray these prayers in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and for the glory of the King. Amen. So go into this day and the days ahead as people seeking God, seeking to glimpse him and to know him more in our lives until we see him face to face. Go with the blessing of God in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I think we're going to have the blessing song uh, with the children of the world singing the blessing.
the do go, knowing the blessing of God. Amen. So goodbye to everyone on Facebook. Do leave us a comment and let us know that you've been joining in. Uh, and if you have any song requests, uh, do, do, do leave a comment. Uh, we might try and play some of them for you. So bye to everyone on Facebook. And those on Zoom can join in with a, a chat and a coffee.